Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a personal assistant who never sleeps, never gets tired, and can't handle everything from writing your emails to creating your content? Well, that's not science fiction anymore. It's the reality of where AI tools are today. I'm Kenny, and today I'm going to show you exactly how AI can transform your daily life, even if you never used an AI tool before. By the end, you'll not only understand just why AI is revolutionary, but how to use it to make your life easier, more productive, and even more creative. Stay with me because what I'm about to share could save you hours every single week. Now, I'm really excited for this episode because we're diving into something that's literally changing how we work, create, and live. Artificial intelligence. But here's the thing, we're not gonna get lost in technical jargon or debate futuristic scenarios. Instead, we're gonna focus on practical, real-world applications that you can start using today. You know, I often hear people say that they're too intimidated by AI or think it's too complex for them to use. Let me tell you right now, if you use a smartphone or write an email, you're more than capable of using these tools. These interfaces have become incredibly user-friendly and the benefits are immediate and substantial. Now let's start with the foundation, AI assistants and chatbots. These are your gateway into the world of AI productivity and they're far more powerful than most people realize. The most well-known ones are ChatGPT, Claude, and Google Gemini. Each has its own unique capabilities that can transform how you work. ChatGPT excels at creative tasks and coding. Claude is particularly good at analysis and long form content. And Gemini integrates seamlessly with Google's ecosystem. Here's what makes these tools truly powerful. They understand context and can maintain complex conversations. Say you're working on a marketing campaign. You can start by asking the AI to brainstorm ideas then dive deeper into specific concepts, ask for competitor analysis, generate social media posts, and even create email sequences all in one flowing conversation. The key is to think of these tools as collaborative partners rather than just question answering machines. When using these AI assistants, your approach dramatically affects the quality of the results. Instead of simple prompts like write a blog post about AI, try something like Write a blog post about AI productivity tools, focusing on practical applications for small business owners, including specific examples and implementation steps. The more context you provide, the better the output. I use both ChatGPT and Claude on an almost daily basis. I use it both in the personal and professional setting, either helping me just plan out my upcoming trip to Japan to helping me research for an episode like this. It's just helpful at times to have someone or rather something to riff with. Now let's talk about search and research. Traditional search engines give you links to wade through, but AI powered search tools like Perplexity and Arc Search synthesize information for you. They can pull data from multiple sources, compare viewpoints, and present coherent summaries. When researching a topic, these tools can save hours of manual searching and reading. They're particularly valuable when you need to understand complex topics quickly or just stay updated on rapidly evolving fields. I personally use Perplexity as my default browser versus Google, and I found that it answers my questions directly and gives me relevant sources in case I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper. Moving on to writing and communication. This is where AI tools have been incredibly sophisticated. Yes, they can help with basic grammar and spelling, but they can do so much more. Tools like Wordtune and Writer now analyze the emotional impact of your writing, suggest ways to make your argument more persuasive, and help you maintain consistency across different types of content. The real power comes when you combine these tools with AI chatbots. Now take for example, you might use ChatGPT to generate the initial draft of a business proposal, run it through Writer for refinement, and then use Wordtune for a final polish. Content creation has been completely transformed by AI. Tools like Jasper and Writer don't just generate content. They can help you develop entire content strategies. They can analyze your existing content, identify gaps in your coverage, suggest topics that might interest your audience, and even help you maintain a consistent brand voice across all platforms. When creating content, try this workflow. Use an AI assistant to create an outline, expand it into a full draft, 
Then use specialized tools to optimize it for your specific platform or audience. The visual side of content creation has seen remarkable advances. Dolly 3, Midjourney, and Ideogram have made professional quality image creation accessible to everyone. But here's what most people don't realize. The real power of these tools lie in the ability to iterate and refine. Instead of just generating one image, you can describe what you like, get multiple variations, pick the elements you like, and then guide the AI to combine and refine those elements until you get exactly what you're looking for. Now, the way I personally use these content creation tools is fairly straightforward. I use ChatGPT for ideation and for helping me find interesting facts for my script. I then use Perplexity for researching these facts and finding relevant sources to validate it. And I use Ideogram to create my YouTube thumbnails. This is all pre-production. Now, post-production, there's many different tools to help streamline the editing process. Now, take for example, Descript, an AI-powered video and audio editing platform that uses AI to make editing more efficient and creative. It allows users to edit videos and podcasts like they would a text document. Now, I don't personally use it since I prefer more customization with DaVinci Resolve, but if you're someone who wants to speed up their editing process, Descript could be for you. Let's dive into task and project management because this is really where AI shows its potential to transform your daily workflow. Tools like Asana and Motion aren't just standard to-do lists anymore. They're using AI to understand how you work and adapt to your patterns. These tools can now analyze your calendars, understand your energy levels throughout the day, and automatically schedule tasks when you're most likely to complete them effectively. What's fascinating about modern AI task management is how it learns from your behavior. Now, for instance, Motion will notice if you consistently push certain types of tasks to later in the week, or if you're more productive with creative work in the mornings. It then starts adapting its scheduling recommendations accordingly. This isn't just about getting things done. It's about getting things done in a way that works best for you. New AI native tools like Hoop are AI powered to-do lists that write itself. It can integrate with your work tools like Slack, email, and Zoom to capture and centralize your tasks. It's pretty slick. It not only automatically tracks all your tasks from these tools, but also helps you prioritize them. I had the opportunity to meet with the founders, Stella and Brian, both ex Trello executives, and they're really reinventing what task management is in the AI era. Email management is another area where AI has become incredibly sophisticated. Tools like Shortwave and Microsoft Copilot Pro for Outlook are revolutionizing how we handle our inboxes. These aren't just filters. They actually understand the content and context of your emails. They can prioritize messages based on urgency, draft responses in your writing style, and even handle entire email threads autonomously when appropriate. Now here's something particularly exciting that just emerged. OpenAI's Operator. This is a game changer because it represents the next evolution in AI capabilities. For the first time, AI can actually navigate the web just like we do, clicking, typing, scrolling, and interacting with websites in real time. Think about what this means. AI can perform complex sequences of tasks across different websites and platforms. It can research prices across multiple sites, fill out forms, and even handle basic administrative tasks that previously required human intervention. The implications of this development are huge. Every website effectively becomes programmable even without formal APIs. AI agents can work continuously, handling repetitive tasks while maintaining perfect accuracy. They can simultaneously manage multiple browsers, making them incredibly efficient at gathering information or performing parallel tasks. Now let's talk about voice and audio AI because this is another area that's seeing remarkable innovation. Tools like Eleven Labs can clone voices with incredible accuracy, while Suno is pushing the boundaries of AI music composition. These tools aren't just for media professionals. They're becoming invaluable for creating podcasts, video content, and even personal projects. Imagine being able to generate background music that perfectly matches the mood of your content or creating professional quality voiceovers without a recording studio. And then there's Google Notebooks LM, that was released late last year. Notebook LM is an experimental product designed to use language models paired with your existing content to gain critical insights faster. 
Think of it as a virtual research assistant that can summarize facts, explain complex ideas, and brainstorm new connections, all based on the sources you select. A key difference between Notebook LM and traditional AI chatbots is that Notebook LM lets you ground the language models in your notes and sources. Now, source grounding effectively creates a personalized AI that's versed in the information relevant to you. You can get a summary, ask questions, and even generate ideas. And what's even more exciting is that Notebook LM now lets you listen to a conversation about your sources through its audio overview. It's like having a podcast that talks about whatever you're interested in. Now, I personally tried it, and it's scarily good. Knowledge management is another crucial area where AI is making significant strides. Tools like MEM and Notion AI Q&A are changing how we organize and access information. These aren't just note-taking apps. They're intelligent systems that can understand the relationships between different pieces of information, suggest connections you might have missed, and even generate new insights from your existing knowledge base. Now, here's a practical tip for implementing these tools. Start with one area of your work life where you feel the most friction. Maybe it's email management, or content creation, or even task scheduling. Begin with a single AI tool in that area and really learn its capabilities. As you become more comfortable, you can start connecting different tools together. For example, you might want to use Claude to generate content ideas, Jasper to expand them into full articles, and Grammarly to polish the final output. One of the most powerful aspects of modern AI tools is their ability to work together through automation platforms like Zapier. You can create workflows where your AI tools talk to one another. For instance, when a meeting is transcribed by Fireflies, the key points can be automatically extracted and added to Notion database, while action items are created in Asana. The future of AI productivity isn't just about individual tools becoming more powerful. It's about creating an ecosystem of AI assistants that work together. We're moving towards a world where AI can handle entire workflows autonomously, learning from our preferences and adapting to our needs. While individual AI tools are powerful, the magic really happens when you connect them together. Think of it like building your own personal assembly line of AI assistants. For example, using Zapier or Make, you can create a system where every time someone books a meeting through your calendar, an AI automatically researches their LinkedIn profile, generates a brief, and then adds it to your CRM. This isn't just future tech. You can set this up today. With the power of the internet and a little bit of determination, you can learn how to do this in less than an hour. I encourage you to take the time to learn because there's definitely at least one thing you do in your life that you can automate. And in the long run, that will save you a lot more than one hour. One of the more powerful automation workflows that I've seen comes from social media management. Tools like FeedHive and Buffer can now analyze your audience's behavior patterns, automatically generate relevant content using AI, schedule posts for optimal engagement times, and even adjust their strategy based on performance data. The key here is that once you set up these systems, they work tirelessly in the background, learning and improving over time. Now, let's tackle something that's been often overlooked, but it's increasingly important, presentation and slide deck creation. Tools like Tome and Gamma are revolutionizing how we create presentations. These just aren't template libraries. They're AI-powered design assistants that can understand the principles of effective visual communication. They can take your rough ideas and transform them into professionally designed presentations, complete with data visualizations and appropriate imagery. What excites me about the current state of AI is how it's democratizing capabilities that were once limited to either large organizations or specialists. Take resume building, for example. Tools like Teal and Enhancive don't just format your resume. They analyze job descriptions, suggest relevant skills to highlight, and even help tailor your experience to specific roles. They're essentially giving everyone access to professional career coaching. Now here's something crucial to understand about AI tools. They're not meant to replace human creativity and decision-making. They're meant to enhance it. The most successful users of AI technology aren't those who rely on it completely, but those who learn to collaborate with it effectively. Think of AI as a powerful instrument in your orchestra, not the conductor. Looking ahead, we're seeing the emergence of what I call AI-first workflows. This isn't about forcing AI in existing processes. 
It's about reimagining how work can be done when you have access to these powerful tools. For instance, instead of writing a first draft and then editing it, you might start by having AI generate multiple different approaches to your topic, combine the best elements, and then use that as your starting point. The recent developments in AI technology, particularly with tools like OpenAI's Operator, are really just the beginning. We're moving towards a future where AI agents will be able to handle increasingly complex tasks with minimal supervision. Imagine AI assistants that can research market trends, compile reports, and even negotiate basic agreements, all while you focus on high-level strategy and creative thinking. But let me be clear about something. The goal isn't to automate everything. The goal is to automate the repetitive, time-consuming tasks that drain your energy and creativity. This frees you up to focus on what humans do best, strategic thinking, emotional intelligence, and creative problem solving. Before we wrap up, let me share some practical advice for getting started. First, don't try to implement everything at once. Pick one area of your life, maybe email management or content creation, and start there. Learn one tool really well before moving on. Second, always maintain a critical eye. AI tools are incredibly powerful, but they're not always reliable. Always review their output and trust your judgment. Remember, we're still in the early stages of this technology revolution. Think of where we are now as similar to the early days of the internet. Just as the internet transformed how we work and live, AI is gonna create possibilities that we can't even imagine yet. The key is to start engaging with these tools now, learn how to use them effectively, and position yourself to best take advantage of them.